Magic Monday here on Gen Zen on Rogers TV. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host. This is a show offering you free, practical, intuitive advice for everyday living. We're hoping to put the soul back in the solutions one call at a time. Before we start today's show, can you see my bling? I just want to give a shout out to Fran Green, a local wonderful uh, jewelry designer who let me this beautiful jewelry handmade. Uh, I think it's just stunning. It is available for sale. I get to wear it today's show because it matches so beautifully. Her website is Jewelry by Fran Green. Please check her out. She's an up and coming designer specializing in uh, electrified crystals and natural stones. So my guest today is an old friend and colleague, not old in age, but old in <laughs> times when we've known each other. Her name is Diane Lanchier. Uh, she and I kind of grew up in the community around the same time. She's an author of a book called On Loneliness. Uh, she's an EFT practitioner and an angel therapy practitioner as well, like myself. So she and I will be doing free angel readings and intuitive uh, information and advice for people who are in need right now. Uh, the number to call is 728-1001. There's no bad question. We will do the best to answer your questions though. Uh, again, we always offer practical advice, so expect some homework from Diane and I. Diane will also be doing some EFT, emotional freedom techniques to help you heal, shift, and change. Welcome to the show, Diane. Thank you. So glad to have you. I know, I'm happy to be here. I know, and so EFT, let's start with that because I find it's such a fascinating modality, emotional mm -hmm. freedom technique. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why why does it work so well and so quickly? So in a nutshell, the basis of, or EFT is based on the idea that every negative emotion is caused by a disruption in the energy system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So energy, uh, energy modalities like acupuncture mm -hmm. and all of these things. All the meridian lines all and chakras, Yeah, it all, right. it's all based on the energy system. Right. So with EFT, if you have any, I always say to people, if it's not love, it can be released. Right. Right? We, we come in as spiritual beings, mm -hmm. we're love, we're forgiveness, we take on these bodies and we start carrying We're born crap happy around. and then we get kind of yes. knocked around a bit. We yeah. start carrying this stuff around and we don't know how to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And we, we, we learn to live with it, but mm -hmm. it doesn't, you know, it doesn't escape. Right. And then we lug it around and we develop, you know, physical patterns, patterns and patterns and emotional stuff. Right. And so all of that can be released. If mm -hmm. it's not love, it can be released. So with EFT... So and basically I, anything, though, because everything is oh, love and then not love, correct? Like in theory. Right. <laughs> it's right. a distortion exactly. or it's not. Yeah. yeah. So EFT works. And, and I always tell people I don't do the sort of pure EFT. Mm -hmm. I do my own version of it because, because I incorporate... Because you use the angels, right? My angel, yeah, it's angel-led and guided and I channel the things to say and mm -hmm. I everything that I've done and learned I incorporate into it and right. it's all the angels that give me the guidance on what to right. say and what to do if I give people visuals mm -hmm. we do you know um, so uh, so you hear you hear someone's issue mm -hmm. you will be guided to coach them through a, a distortion or a shift but it's simple so so yeah, let, let's so say let's say I'm giving you an example of um, today let's say I'm a little nervous Right. About today's show for some reason. Right. So the first Where thing would I go? So the first thing, and I'm doing the sort of old school way of doing EFT mm -hmm. because they've kind of, the uh, creator of EFT or the founder has sort of revamped it. Sure. But I've stuck with the way I first yeah. learned it and how it's yeah. more traditional for me. Right. The way, yeah, and it's not even traditional. It's my way of doing it anyway. Yeah. So the first thing to do is to find what's called a sore spot on okay. the chest. So on the upper chest, you find a tender spot and you rub so it gently. So physically sore? So physically a a tender Any spot physically sore? It's usually in the middle okay. of the upper left or right pec. Okay. So pec, in the yep. fleshy area, you find a tender spot. So if right. you poked here, it doesn't hurt. Yep. But if you poke here, it's tender. Yeah, I got it's one. It's usually in the middle. I got one. So you rub that spot gently. Okay. And then you do an affirmation. And T typically it's three, oh, yeah. Ow. you do an affirmation three times. So if you're nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting myself right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. don't yeah. rub hard. Yeah. But if you were really nervous, we would do, even though I'm nervous, uh -huh. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I, even though I'm nervous, I, I deeply, deeply and, and completely, completely love myself. Yeah, you know what, yeah. that made me breathe different, eh? Yeah. I felt it in my yeah. solar plexus, so my you, stomach. In the traditional thing, way of doing it, you do it, you do the affirmation three times right. and you go on to tapping on the energy system by tapping right. on the face and the chest and some other parts. Right. Because... So basically we're unblocking the meridian lines that connect yeah. and that are con creating a congestion. Exactly. And the idea is that you, this way you don't have to try to figure out which meridian is affecting right. or is creating the emotion. Yeah, you don't need to know the map, like Chinese medicine, yeah. you don't need you to have You just tap that. really quickly and you're, right. uh, you're touching all of them, you're moving all of them while you're tuned in to the issue, the memory, right. the feeling. This would be great for kids. Yes. So you're a mom of a little precocious four-year-old. Yes. And um, do you do this on your child? I don't do it on him. Yeah. I do it on me for him. Oh, right. So intricate. Uh, what do you um, call that? Surrogate. Uh, surrogate. Yes. Right. Yeah. So I've done it uh, when I've had to, let's say, 
calm him down or give him medication that he doesn't want to take right. or you know like those kinds of things trauma little traumas I, for kids yeah yeah then i i do it to myself and, right and uh yeah that's fascinating absolutely to me. and and i want to say so fascinating that um diane's going to be one of my special guest speakers at an upcoming event we're running here in Ottawa uh, on May 31st. Uh, it's an event called uh, Elevate Your Life with the Power of Angels. I really want to encourage people to check it out on Facebook because it's one of my inspirational, transformational events, uh, meaning that angel energy will actually be in the room and people will kind of get uh, angel, angel energized mm -hmm. and I call it angel electrified in some cases. If your hair is straight, you're going to leave curly. Uh, so it's going to be a great opportunity, a day-long experience at uh, the Ottawa RA Center. Diane Lante, my guest, is one of our keynote speakers because you're going to be doing EFT techniques on the audience yes right to shift and change yes. based on a and certain I, theme I just I know there's a caller but really yeah. quickly yeah if you haven't done energy work in a group it is the best yeah because it's it the multiplication the, oh my of goodness. attention yeah the yeah. power is just it's off yeah. the chart so yeah. Dan welcome to the show how can we help you today yes I want to ask if I will get a full-time job this year okay wonderful I'm gonna do a card reading and Diane well oh, I'm gonna do a reading Diane's gonna do a reading so get two answers here let me just see what the cards say what first of all uh, the question is full-time job yeah yeah this Looking year so um dan i feel that there is a colleague or a friend i think it's more of a friend it's a male friend that's gonna know you're looking for work and offer you um a contact inside an organization that's looking to hire it's kind of like a, a warm lead it's not even going to be posted it's going to be more like dan hey are you still looking uh, there's an opening in so and so. So, do do you, um, are you telling friends and family, uh, people you trust, that you are looking for work? Uh, sometimes, yes. Okay, so so my uh, as a business coach, as a, as a, uh, a career coach, I always tell to pick trusted friends and family. Let them know that you're looking for what kind of work, like be specific as you can, because those people know 100 people. So every one person knows 100 people, and you're putting your sales agents out in the world. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So, so, you know, if, if, if I'm talking to you one day and you tell me you're looking for a job and I meet Diane for coffee and she's like, oh, my assistant just, you know, went on mat leave, I need a replacement, I go, oh, I've got the perfect person. So I do think you need to talk more about it. Um, my thing, feeling is full-time work comes in September. Um, what kind of field do you want to work in right now? What, what's the... Uh, cleaning. Oh, cleaning. Well, my sense is I see sort of like a part-time, full-time contract in the summer, but I feel full-time work comes in September. I got the balance card, which is a bit of an odd card to your question, but when the angel balance card comes up, it means um, do you have enough work-life balance in your life, meaning are you having fun in life? Are you so panicked about work that you're not trying to zone out, zen out, and, and be faithful and be calm? Like, are you, are you agitated? Are you, you know, are you too focused? Uh, no, I don't oh. think so. Okay, well, just make, make sure, because when it says balance, it means something's out of balance. So just ask yourself the question, where am I out of balance? Diane, what do you get for Dan for full-time work? He's in the cleaning profession. Yeah, I agree with that. And I, I, I'm not, I don't get dates and stuff, but what I get is that what's blocking you from getting that full-time job is we often get in our own way and right. I feel like you have uh, you don't have the job because there's there's something you're holding yourself back the fact that you're not telling everybody tells me that there is um, resistance of there's some resistance kind? you're resisting your own um, success yeah own happiness yeah. so where would Dan uh, thanks got for the, filling yeah, my yeah, blanks, no, no, yeah, sometimes I'm, I'm it's hard to explain like the feelings yeah. that you're getting so right? Diane like, if you're Dan where would he where would he tap where would he start to sort of work the EFT well it's world? not necessarily where to tap it's yeah. what you're tapping on and okay. if you so if I was doing a session with you Dan I would be asking you um, I, I would be just trying to dig as to why like why are you not employed now and yeah. what what are your fears about getting a full-time job and because I'm feeling a little bit of anger and resistance. Like, um, did you get? I'm I'm getting that you may have feel unfairly treated by someone in the past, recent past. Did you get like screwed by someone? Uh, all my employees. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so all they, your life. So there that, you go. So yeah. that's and even though consciously you think that you want that job, unconsciously all of those things, all of your life that have been happening are building up. I call it emotional um, scar tissue. Right. All of that stuff is building up to you know create a perception and create these. Uh, this emotional stuff that's that's blocking you from moving forward and getting what you think you want. If you don't have what you think you want, it's because you don't really want it at some level or somewhere unconsciously. Yes. There's something blocking you. So if you were, if I had a session with you, I would want to go back to where you first felt like you got screwed 
and we would start working on that, tapping on that, and releasing that, and then moving forward so that you no longer have that perception that I get screwed in life. Yeah, so, so can we go back, uh, Dan, like make a, oh, on a piece of paper, make a timeline that goes horizontal, your birth until your age today, and start giving markers on where life didn't really treat you well. People didn't treat you well, life didn't treat you well keep some timelines going and then try to work on the concept of forgiveness like unravel you want to untie all that knot all those energy blocks so that today you can live a very successful and happy life do you understand so we're yes, ju we're just yep. saying that just because this has happened doesn't mean it will happen you know what i mean yeah. so so again we're trying to tell you there's a tide of change happening but it has to happen with your uh, efforts your own participation so if you do some homework, yeah. things will change quite quickly, if you get what we're saying. Yep, thank you very much. Yeah, wonderful. And good luck and tell us how it goes. Okay. Thanks, Dan, for your call. Roxanne, thanks for waiting. How can we help you today? Uh, I'd, I'm going through, well, now I'm divorced recently. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're single. It was a long haul. It was in 2008. Yeah. But my question to you is my two kids aren't talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just wondering when they're going to come around. Yeah, so my feeling is um, quickly, without judgment, um, has your ex uh, talked to, the, like, has, has um, the ex manipulated them in some way with money or a different story of why you left or, or the, the issues between the two parents? Yes. Okay, so my feeling it's an issue of lies, like in the sense of the energy of words is blocking you and your kids. What I would do is tell you to work with devotional figures like Divine Mother, Divine Mother of all forms. So Mother God, Mother Earth, Mother Mary, anybody, anybody you prefer. Uh, ask for forgiveness and that divine love be the correcting force. It's a prayer. It's a focused thought, okay? But it's you asking to be reconnected back to your children. I got to say it's, it's late. I feel it's December. I think it's a Christmas time energy of 2014. Uh, I got the card support. So the support card comes up, um, Roxanne, when someone is in need of a uh, friend's uh, family, if it's not family, it's community. So can you get yourself connected to a, like a spiritual group or a sisterhood or a drumming circle or, or some kind of like, I do angel circles, I do soul sisters networking. Like, can you get connected to some kind of support group in your community so that you don't feel so alone? Um, where do you find that? Well, yeah, so you can go to my, you know, Facebook pages and, and, and search around there. Th depending on what kind of activities you're looking for, it's all on the internet. So Facebook, internet, my website, jenniferclark.ca. Uh, okay. Diane, what would you tell Roxanne about her kids? Well, I agree with you, Con reconnecting to your inner mother feelings as opposed to being stuck in the... Separated. The mire yeah. of, you know, the physical reality of what's happened to you with the divorce and what's happening with the kids you're gonna have to be able to and when I say these things I know that you know it sounds like well how do I do that that's the type of work that I do helps yeah. you do that and I'm yeah. so I'm not saying it just to promote yeah. myself yeah. but I mean it yeah. is doable yeah uh, if I'm saying you can do it you're gonna have to be able to just let go of what's happened and focus on sending love to your children and not that you don't love your children, but you know, consciously, consciously, consciously doing sending it. love and enveloping them in, in your mother child energy and that you love them regardless. Yes. Unconditional love. And I'm not talking about on the phone. I'm saying in in, in meditation. Um, through prayer, sending through them affirmation, love yeah. And like you said, asking prayer and Forget about all of the crap from the past. Forget about the lies. Just move forward. You're going to yeah. have to let that go because they're going to feel that resentment and they're right. going to feel that there's something there. And you need to just say... You need to be neutral. Yeah, yeah you need to be neutral. Um, we actually are... Uh, my uh, Jennifer Clark and Associates, Roxanne, is running a Healing Through Grief program um, May 6th. Now, Healing Through Grief is grief from divorce, separation, a lost job, that kind of thing. You might want to check that out because it might be right up your alley for your, for your situation. Okay. Yeah, but I get Christmas of 2014. So okay. we've got to go to break. Diane, stay tuned. Uh, more here on Gen Zen Magic Monday.
Welcome back to Magic Monday here on Gen Zen. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host, back in the studio with my guest, Diane Lantier, an author, a Reiki master, angel therapy practitioner, and EFT practitioner. She's talking to us today about how the angels have inspired her to heal, shift, change, and transform. When did you kind of get connected to angels or spirit or sort of the alternative psychic world? I've I've always known things without knowing how I knew them. Right. And I, I thought things were common sense. I would just, mm -hmm. you know, people would say, well, how do you know that? And I would say, well, just look at her face. It's obvious. Right. Right. So you're more of an emotional intuitive. Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, knowing and, mm -hmm. and feeling. And then in my late teens, early 20s, I started realizing mm -hmm. that I was knowing things that other people didn't Not everyone, know. Yeah. Right. And so I started, um, and I had some experiences with my grandfather who was deceased, feeling him around me. Oh, wow. I started doing reading, um, I started reading about angels mm -hmm. and just getting into finding out information about angels. I yes. went to see an angel, um, a person who did angel mm -hmm. readings um, here in Ottawa and just got into it yeah. and and eventually i Jumped did my in. yeah i actually did my reiki before i did my angel therapy nice. practitioner yeah i so just did I. yeah so i just did I. felt like there was something yeah that i needed that was, first yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. i went to do reiki and then i saw doreen virtue in yes. toronto yes yes in two